Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to Zanki Zero. Last beginning, let's carry on where we left off. We're heading back to Mashiro Nanotechnology Institute, where we're pursuing Dr. Terashima to put a stop to whatever diabolical plans he has going on. Unfortunately, Zen's dad kind of got in the way. He exerted his wrath upon us. So we're back at Garage Island, basically re-equipping, getting ready for another excursion into the Mani Labs. So let's go ahead and maybe hit the bedroom, get our, get our bonuses, and then we'll head down to the basement. Ah, the infamous ice puzzle. Still getting PTSD from gold, silver, crystal, man. Honestly, as a kid, I spent way too long on that puzzle. But it looks like we've got this door open now, interestingly enough. So, a shortcut, perhaps? I just need to skate over there. I don't know if that can reach us. Let's just time it anyway. So cold! That was terrible timing. <laughs> cool. Anyway, uh, this is all unexplored, so let's look around. Actually, I missed something on this wall here. What is this? Four and circle are drawn on the wall. I mean, looks more like an A. A-O to me, Sachika, so... But I'll take your word for it. Adults only is what I thought it might have warned us. So we got stairs going down. We've got some company. There you are. Hello. At least Dr. Terashima's not alone down here. But uh, I don't know if she's into the whole mechanical arm thing <laughs> that he's got going on. Alright, I miss killing things faster. We need to find my blazing katana ASAP. Is this a trapdoor or a button? Okay, stop hearing mechanical noises. I'll take your word for it. What else do we have? Man, this whole place just looks all the same to me. It's like the hospital, but kind of worse, to be honest. Age authentication error, too young. That's Minamo, she's a kid, of course. Yuma? Too young. is of course, a kid. Sachika? Too young. Well, Yuma's the eldest, unfortunately. I did have a bunch of seniors before, but I kind of offed them already. This button's frowning at me. <laughs> so this is that sound room again. What's this? Bloodstains. Was someone killed here? Well, okay, we might be able to traverse this. Re Sonic molecular dismantling. Sonic waves break down body tissues. Fantastic. So we can time this. Huh. Sonic Molecular Dismantling Room. Failed subjects were disposed here. Right. Well, this isn't going to be as safe to traverse. And to be frank, I don't know what we're going to get out of it. So maybe we just head back? Looks like this pathway was safe because the someone has got blocked by that box over there. So let's take advantage. I don't know where we're going. <laughs> I think we're just crossing the room, which is a bit of a strange objective we've got going on here. But hey, we can test our dexterity. Uh, okay, we got company, we got company. Okay, we've crossed the room. And we've got absolutely nothing out of it. But it might be because we've solved this uh, ice cream puzzle. And that would have been the way to get over there if I didn't open that other door somehow. Alright, I'll take it, I guess. I suppose we can explore these other pathways. There. Alright, there's that hole that we fell through last time. What is this? This may be junk. There's a strange machine quietly rolling around. Is it edible? It says item dump area. Right. Well, we dumped ourselves down there, which was... I don't know. Not very cool. <laughs> Phew, and we've crossed back. And fortunately, we took a bit of damage, but that's to be expected. A safety zone. Wow. Cool, I'll take it. Let's save and continue on. Let's have a look, shall we? A diary. It has information from the Mashiro Medical Lab days. Manager's final job. Mashiro Medical Lab's former head of development, Tomoyuki Tashiro. Upon the founding of MANI, Mashiro Nanotechnology Institute, the vast majority of the Mashiro Medical Lab's staff members were transferred to MANI, myself included. However, I was the last one to transfer over to MANI. The reason is simple. There was still work for me to do as the head of development before I could leave. We spent our days at the medical labs, developing a wide assortment of medical equipment. But my final job was quite an interesting one. Shoes. A client came to me, saying they've always wanted medical equipment that can be casually worn on a daily basis. Because of the incredibly unique nature of the request, I was happy to accept the job. So you thought medical equipment would be best worn on your feet, walking on dirty ground. I see. I used to be a physician that specialized in cardiology, and any time medical equipment is mentioned, I think about the heart. So it was only natural that feet <laughs> also come to mind, as they are known as the second heart. 
they are. I mean, shit. Honestly, I haven't been really looking after both my hearts, to be honest. I drink too much energy drinks and, well, I'm constantly covering my feet with socks and shoes, never giving them you know, a chance to breathe. Generally, the second heart refers to calves. Oh, sorry, never mind. Calves. But the entire leg could be considered organs of the heart. <laughs> I see. This is a very, uh, very unique way of viewing the heart in cardio. This was my primary focus, and I decided to approach the project in the form of shoes. The construction of the shoes are a trade secret, and I cannot go into details, but I was able to produce results in terms of improving metabolism, correcting posture, increasing muscle mass, and shock mitigation while walking. These are the shoes of gods, it seems. Shoes that improve metabolism, imagine that. The development of the shoes was a great success, and I was handsomely rewarded by the client. The prototype of the health shoes is still carefully stored in my office. They're kept in double-bottomed cardboard equipment boxes to prevent theft, so they should be quite safe. They are essentially weightless, so I doubt anyone would notice from picking up the boxes either. In addition, as a result of putting in my best efforts into the prototype, it is made of special material which prevents hydrolysis, although this was not practical for the retail version due to costs, so it's well suited for long-term storage. According to my calculations, even if it ends up in somewhat unfavorable conditions, they should be able to last about 200 years without degrading. These shoes. Can't make too much use of the kitchen because we are saltless right now. Even though we are in the sea, you'd think we might be able to extract some salt. That's fine. What do we have here? We have some heads, I think. Are they heads? Yes, they are. Can't fool me. <laughs> Almost part of the rubble. Cleared of the heads. What there do we have? Is. Data on clone test subjects. Seems they got some data from employees. Okay. Right, so we've got two options. We've got the doors leading downstairs, and this leads back upstairs. I think let's explore topside. Maybe Yuma will age while we're... I'm going to activate. ...sort of exploring the outer... the outer shell. Climb up. So this is all unexplored territory, which I'm thankful for. Open up. Nice. Worn boots. Is this a UFO? There's something here. Is this a lifeboat? It's only big enough for two or three people. Hmm. Interesting. It's a UFO lifeboat. Oh dear, it's a shadow man. Close the door. I could really use my katana with a... Jeez, these guys are nuts. Damn, can't they just melt in the sunlight or something? Oh, I hate those freaks. All right. Damn Shadow Man. I'll hold that. Worn jacket. Seems I can't just force it open. That's not budging at all. Seems I can't just force Neither it open. Is that. Is this it? Mechanical noises somewhere. Cool. And then there's another hidden switch over here. There. Hmm. What's this? Is this it? Good, it's unlocked. I think I heard a noise outside the room. Let's have a look, shall we? Danger. Maybe? Hmm, it's not very clear whether it's dangerous or not. All right. And over here we've got... Oh god, he's back. He's topside now. <coughs> oh, he was hard to get close to, but... Got him in the end. Oh god. Almost got ambushed by the Shadow Man. Oh, lucky I killed your dad when I did, Zin. Now I'm hungry. And I don't think I've got some good food to feed us with. All right, let's dig out the backpack. We're back here, though, and this is all familiar. There is a ladder over here I did see, so let's have a look. Yuma is now middle-aged, so let's protect her at all costs. <laughs> see if we can open that age-verifying door. Okay, what do we have in here? What could this be? There's an anti-corrosive coating on the interior of the metal drums. On the interior, okay, because of might be soaring acid. Seems I can't just force it open. That is not budging. Got a switch we could press. I'm going to activate it. Right, this one's dark There's something for some here. reason. Oh, I think a door just opened in the distance. In the distance. Alright. Strengthener, suspiciously placed. This might be useful. Seem to have opened that door. Shadow Man. Whoa. That's the only way to, like, summon them. Just glance your eyes to the side for one second. In here we have remember this? the past and learn from it. Cool. <laughs> Great traps everywhere. You must still alive, so that's good. Uh, let's switch around to the party, shall we? All right, let's press this button. Give that a try. I'm gonna use it. Oh, 
Yay! That didn't kill us. <laughs> Freaking spikes just coming down from the top of the oil platform. Seriously? It's a new low, Darashima. It won't open. That's not budging. I need to chuck something on here. Yeah. Phew. Alright, now what do I do with all these levers? The north is a harsh one-way road. The south shows the correct path. This is... Sound, down, down, left, up, right, down, 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 left, left. Okay. Not quite sure what that means. Oh man, there better not be any traps around here. This. Nothing's happening. There it is. Oh, something just shocked me. How scary. Uh, oh I can't dear. Go there. This is... Did I just hear something for a second? What's this? Nothing's happening. There it is. Nothing's happening. What's this? Something just lit up. So That's harsh. a fucking wanna trap. Die. God damn it. <laughs> I swear I hate this game <laughs> sometimes. Well, so much for keeping Yuma alive. I suppose we can just sleep a little bit. See if we can age some people up and explore some more. Slowly our arsenal of weapons is getting worse and worse, so we need to reclaim our weapons as quick as we can. Otherwise, we're not going to stand a fighting chance against... Well, I suppose we can't use our weapons against these damn traps. Watch out. A lot of unexplored territory over here. Found it. A lifeboat doesn't seem big enough for eight people. Now that eight of us are alive. There's something here. There's a toolbox left here. Obtained industrial adhesive. What's this? An abandoned toolbox. Clearance level one, and it's locked. Found it. A life jacket. It'd take courage to use this and jump from this height. Uh, yeah. It's tough. And also a tiny bit of insanity might come in handy for that kind of maneuver. There's something here. Toolbox for outdoor workers. The salty air ruined it, so it won't open. Jeez. Don't we have a crowbar or anything? What's this? An upside down helmet. It's very dirty and full of rainwater. And we got this door, which opens, but there's a clearance level one door on the other side, and we got holes. Hmm. Not much we can access on this side, unfortunately, so let's head back downstairs. Does this look useful? Damn, it was a date linked wall that entire time. That's why I got well, through. Well. Shucks. I'm not gonna be able to find another way around, am I? Unless I go the long way. Hey! In order to get my weapons back. Shit. It's fine, I'll just climb down the ladder and then up again. <laughs> That'll be our way of getting through. Oh geez, this guy's back now. Right, I've got a switch, I'm wary of all these damn switches. At least it opens. Okay. Anyway, we're climbing up the ladder anyways. Alright, I made it back to this godforsaken room. Let's just pick up the Lucky remnants me. of my stuff. I'll take it. Lucky now. me! What I've noticed is one Let's take side this. of the room has these speech marks and the other half had this switch, so quite curious to see if that means all of these are like actual switches that we can pull to open this door and these were supposed to give me a hint because I did read one of them saying There's something here. Something about What's sound. This? Sound, down, down, left, up, right, down, 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 left, left. There's something here. That was this one that made a noise. Now I just need to decipher this code as to what it means. Does this even relate to these switches? I don't know. Let's find out. There's something here. Alright, so I can't exactly follow the instructions going down, the down, heads. because there's something blocking the way. So there. let's just follow the map. Found it. Down, down, left, up, right, down, 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 left, left. So we've got down, down, what are you doing? left, up, right. So we're supposed to be here, and then down, Stop. down, huh? down, left, left. So this one is our answer. I leave the rest oh, God. to you. Nope, not the answer. Mina was still alive. Jeez, we almost had a total party wipe. Okay, back to the drawing board. <laughs> yeah, let's try this one. On three. <sighs> it opens. Oh, hello. God, there's another one of that guy. Seriously, it never ends. And I just don't have the equipment to take him down. I really want to see what's beyond that door. Maybe it's worth just retreating for now. I guess I was off by one when I was pressing that switch. I don't know. I, I think I'd just given up. I was like, okay, I'm just going to pull them all and see if we get lucky. Here we are. <laughs> another pedestal. For a door that's already open. Yeah. So that's okay. We don't need to put anything on top of it. Oh, there he is. No need to show your skinny ass at my face. That is such a huge Going radius. Dark. You're kidding me. And you're killing me. Lucky me. 
Oh. That's we need this, care right? Of. Let's take we need this, right? We'll take the diamond as well. Oh god, there's another puzzle. This is dangerous. What do I trust? I'm tired of these stupid traps. Found it. The lone out outcast is key. Think hard and have a wider perspective. The lone outcast is key. Right, well, we've got a number of different switches. Which ones are considered the outcast? There's a switch there that you can barely see. And we've got these more obvious ones over there. Does that mean it's going to be the one by itself? The lone outcast? There. <laughs> well, well. Okay, I think we passed the test. Good to know. Sounds like we got company though. Where the hell did you come from? We got a seven triangle What's this? drawn on the wall. Another level one key. <laughs> We're there in abundance now. Is it a level one key? You're suspicious. It's a level C key. Never mind. I'll take it. Lucky me. Don't piss our pants. That's why they gave us those bottles. This thing, right? Yay! That door's open. I don't have to go through that horrendous puzzle ever again. Wonder what this is. A lifeboat. The interior through the window seems comfortable. And we got a ladder leading downwards. Excellent. And there's one more thing. Look suspicious. It's placed haphazardly. Would it really float in the water? Asking the good questions there. Look out! Okay, and we're on the other side of this level two door. Unfortunately, there's a big hole in the way. Could need a rope down because the switch is on the other side of that hole. Well, don't mind if I do. Okay, more staircases. I guess we were kind of just listening to our good this friend Terashima and, you know, not following him, which is kind of what he wanted, right? Uh, us to not follow him. Looks Cargo entrance, danger, stay out. Well, that sounds dangerous. Let's check out what the Here level C daily opens. Obtain a clearance level C key. Hello. Uh, so this is like the interior. That's not budging. It says clearance level 2 and it's locked. Whoa. Great, fantastic. So, more locked doors, unfortunately, hampering our progress. I wonder what this is. All right, so we've seen that level one door. Well, we know where that leads, so no point in opening that. Let's I'd rather open the one over here, where the contents behind the door are unknown. Here we go. Open it up. And we've got a I'll take it. pipe. What do we have here? And a conductive Find sheet. Something. That's not bad, I suppose. I'll take it. I think we're about ready to head back downstairs to follow per Terashima, so let's get moving. He was hoping we could open that uh, age-gated door now. Cold! So cold! Oh, Minamo, I don't want to say you're old because you are a lady. There we go. Age authentication clear. Interesting that they've got an age-gated door in a lab, you know? It's like they were expecting kids to be running around. What is it? Welding goggles. Wonder what this is. There's an in-house application form for voluntary X-key implants. Let's have a look. Applicant request list. New model X-key implant volunteer requirements. The new model of X-keys comes with Luciora within them, which introduces a new aging effect system. Stress induced to staff members upon waste disposal. Escape attempts by the test subjects themselves. Kidnapping of the test subjects by opposing forces. Right. So that was like the uh, sort of things it was combating, I suppose. We intend to install a time limit system in the subject's body in order to address the problems above. Yeah, there we go. This will implement a feature which will age and eventually destroy the body after a set amount of time. This aging effect also inhibits reproductive abilities, so clones with the new X key are not capable of having children. Wow, we've just developed the uh, Les Enfants terrib Terribles right in front of us. <laughs> Solid snake, liquid snake. Only those who understand and agree to the above points will be eligible to volunteer for the implant. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the process, please contact me at any time. Mashiro Nanotechnology Institute Lab Number One Head Research Assistant Junko Sasanishiki. There you have it. So, got a, a research note and some welding goggles. Okay. I see. 
Time to head downstairs, I think. The safer way, not dump ourselves through the disposal room. Okay. Explore all of money is our objective. Got a long hallway over there. Looks suspicious. My clinical records? What? Dad and Hiroki looked for me all that time? Minamo's clinical records? There's something here. Officer's clinical records. Seems she was a cop right after high school. Huh. So lucky I checked it with Minamo. Otherwise I might have missed that. These corridors. It's like the hospital all over again for reals. Got a labyrinth of hallways. Rio's clinical records. Oh, we've got the same blood type. Rio. What's this? God, my clinical records. I don't even know what's written. Okay. Whoa. More stairs. I can't go there. Over here. Have we just got everyone's clinical records. Let's have a look, shall Zen's we? Zen's clinical chart. I abducted him on his way to the farmer's market. Oh. Found it. My clinical records. I don't want people to see it, but too late now. All right, well, let's see what Mamoru has to say about Rio then. There's something here. Rio's clinical records. I believe I abducted him at his studio. You believe? I guess it's been that long. What could this be? Miss Minamo's clinical records. We barely made the implant in time. Oh, was she like the last person, was she? More stairs over there. Let's have a look, shall Rico's we? Rico's medical records. I abducted her while she was at a hotel. <laughs> My clinical records. They remind me of some upsetting memories. What's this? What's this? Something here. Rio's clinical records. His father's name is, isn't listed, but never mind. I wonder what this is. What's this? He has root marks all over his body. Damn, everyone's got something interesting to say. I'm gonna need to like keep swapping the party formations. There it is. I'm envious of her body. <laughs> there it is. She was brutally beaten when she uh, had to save Hiroki. What is this? Rinko Susukino's clinical records. It makes me want to protect her. There it is. Zen Kubota's clinical records. They detail his feud with his father. What's this? Zen's clinical records. He fought with the riot police? Wild kid. Jeez. It was riot police out in the country? What's this? <laughs> Zen was a delinquent in high school. Are you serious? Whoa! What are you doing? Could have fooled me. Found something! We have here! Hmm, Rio's making lots of friends. Hmm. Okay, well, this is just a contained area, so let's just pick a staircase and go down. That one goes upstairs, though. Huh? Can't go there. I don't want to go down. Hopefully we don't get ambushed by Zin's dad. I swear, man, that guy's just everywhere. Keen to reunite with his son. It's closed, huh? Yep, it sure is. We can cross the floor. Our weapons should be right around the corner. There they are. Who's speaking? Got it! Let you go, hold it! Oh, okay, let's pick up where we left off then. There's the switch. There it is! Oh, there's my- oh, there are a bunch of them. I forgot that there were so many. I thought there was like two or three, but no, there's freaking 50 million of them. Alright, this is not safe to fight them here. I've learned my lesson from last time. Let's get moving. Oh god, they're there as well! Uh, well, this is not safe. Not good, not good. Bad day. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to take them all down one at a time. I think that's our best bet. <laughs> Cold. Oh, Cold. Oh, there's one hiding around the corner. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how many more are left? Seriously, I've got claymores for days. <laughs> well, well. There. Okay, dropped one down. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I think that's all of them. I think so. Good. We only disposed of one down those holes. I don't know what's down there, but Jesus. Anyway, Zen needs to go to the toilet. I don't blame the guy. I'd have shit my pants too if I saw a bunch of clones of my deadbeat dad. Ooh, key. Huh? What's this? Turn a clearance level two key? It's disposable though. Jeez, why do they all have to be disposable? There's something here. Never seen this machine before. Looks like a microscope, but probably not. Found it. Details regarding age settings for the extend machine are written here. 
Clone Age Settings recommended physical age settings when creating clones. Unlike the older version of the clone regeneration device, Extend Machine Unit 1, Unit 2 and beyond come with the ability to manually adjust the clone's age. This is possible due to nanomachines building the clones at a cellular level, and it is the reason the Extend Machine has been hailed as a revolutionary system. However, creating them in child form expends less total score points, protein, and the success rate is greatly increased, so it is recommended to regenerate clones in child form, but it is possible to spawn them directly as adults if we want to. But we might as well just age them and start them off as kids. There. I guess that's well, probably well. the more efficient use of proteins, even though <laughs> they've just ex explained that... Let's check the map! Uh, well, there was a lot of wastage Whoa, every hey. time you clone someone. Where are we? So we've cleared this area then fully. Let's carry on. Right, those set of stairs are done. Let's head down here. I wonder why there were so many clones of the bosses. Because Mama obviously had nothing to do with them. There's something here. Madam's clinical records. Seems she was quite thin when she was younger. What could this be? Miss Yuma's clinical records. I think she was the last one I abducted. Okay, so Yuma was the last one. Looks suspicious. Yuma's clinical records. She says she was caught while sleeping in her room. There's something here. Yuma's clinical records. Let's see. Her weight is my eyes. Jeez, no fat shaming here, Rio. Found it. She overate on purpose to gain her weight now. This is. Overeating isn't good for you. Is it edible? Those clinical records are vile, but Mani did not kill my father. Found it. Haruto's clinical records. His glasses fell when he was abducted? Let's have a look, Haruto's shall we? Haruto's clinical records. I went up to him on the building's roof, and the rest they say is history. What's this? Haruto's clinical records. Mashiro Publishing was a, was issued a gag order. How is that part of his clinical records? I have no idea. Found it. They even list the brand of his tie. So I was put to sleep and taken to that hospital. Yes. I saw Haruto's clinical records. He's pretty big with those numbers. Oh dear. There it is. Haruto Higurashi's clinical records. It is more of a police report. Hmm. What is this? Sachika Hirosako's clinical records. Her IQ is quite high. There's something here. Sachika's clinical records. I don't want to remember these cruel tests. I wonder what this is. Sachi's clinical records. This stuff is really hard to look at. Found it. Missy's clinical records. No info on her elementary school days, though. What's this? Sachika's clinical records. Her right hand and left leg didn't regenerate. There it Sachika's is. clinical records. Is she an O blood type? What's this? Sachika's clinical records. She was cloned June 9th. That her birthday? Uh, for a clone? Yeah, I suppose. Found it! Dr. Ichio's clinical records. So he wasn't Sorry, always but this ripped. I need to go to the restroom. Okay, okay. What could this be? Why are my clinical records here? Was my father planning to. What's this? Dr. Mamoru's clinical records. His face and weight are totally different. There's something here. Dr. Ichio's clinical records. I actually do recognize his old face. Found it. Dr. Ichio's clinical records. He was a well-rounded doctor and researcher. This is... Dr. Ichio's clinical records. He's ten years older than the rest of us. There it is. Mamoru Ichio's clinical records. His LDL cholesterol levels are low. <laughs> right, so we've got a strange hole there. Maybe we check that out. Does this look useful? All right, where are we now? No more kids in the party. We've spent so much time, like, exploring this dungeon that everyone's getting old. Oh, geez, another shadow guy. Should be able to take him down, though, with our awesome weapons. So this entire time, these guys have just been roaming around because Mamoru wasn't able to find Mani. Okay, this is just a hidden room. Interesting. Not much going on there. What's this? Their fiery bloom illuminates the darkness of the night. Ruins guide was updated. Oh, it's it's Rinko. Don't tell me that freaking statue's roaming around here as well. Your flowers popped. No, how about we don't? Right, I think we just leave her alone. That flower just gonna keep regenerating. Maybe the statue is around here. If her flower keeps regenerating, then maybe that's how she's healing? Not quite sure. There's an elevator that goes directly to the surface. Interestingly enough. Son of a bitch. It is here! Should have freaking known. There it is. And we got a shadow guy. Yeah! Okay, at least he can't disguise himself amongst other statues now, so he's a lot easier to find. Huh? Watch out! Now we can take her down. Sorry, Minamo. 
Sorry, Rinko, Beta Rinko. Got it. I'll take it. I'll hold that. Okay, good. Got a one in a triangle. Let's have a look, the shall we? Large tank is making a low rumble as it operates. Huh? I think now that we've basically gone through, you know, the greatest hits of all these boss fights, we can head topside, extend some of our friends, and make a plan to use this level two key. Where? <laughs> Ah, the great outdoors. We can head back. Mamaru can actually hey. use a proper toilet if we can get back to Garage Island in time.